So Ray, what uh, what brought you on the tour? What got you fishing the tour? <laughs> uh, that's a good one. I guess everybody's different. Some people were know when they're 10 years old this is what they're gonna do I mean that wasn't wasn't me I love absolutely love fishing it's my favorite thing to do in the world but uh, I actually just uh, was very competitive in high school uh, I wrestled played football and all that just wasn't didn't have that uh, ability or natural ability to take it to a college level so uh, but you don't lose that competitiveness so uh, and fishing is my favorite thing in the world to do so when I graduated it was just kind of a natural thing that competitive fishing was something that uh, that would fill your desires and thought that was pretty awesome so started fishing the BFLs and usually there's about 30,000 guys that fish the BFLs across the country every year and you got to make the top 48 to make the All-American. And after I fished for a few years, I, I missed the All-American like by one spot two years in a row. And then I made the All-American two years in a row after that. So I won a few of them and got quite a bit of local attention and from sponsors. And I had one sponsor come to me and asked me if I'd like to fish regionally and at that time I was an electrician and I had enough vacation so I was like heck yeah that'd be that'd be awesome so the first year I fished the Everstarts I missed qualifying for the tour by one spot and my sponsor had told me if I'd made it they'd back me on tour so I was like wow we got to reevaluate things and this would could be an awesome opportunity and uh I ended up, uh, that fall, ended up quitting my job and focusing on fishing and um, fished the Everstarts the next year and actually made the tour. So my wife and I moved to Arkansas, bought a little land off my dad uh, and built a 1,200 square foot garage that we really had no walls, we just had petitions in. <laughs> Lived in it all winter, looking forward to fishing the tour at least one year. And uh, about three days prior to coming down here to Okeechobee and fishing the tour, my sponsor called and said they had a opportunity come up and it was going to take their whole marketing budget. And uh, they couldn't back me for my FLW tour season. So we had, here we are rearranged our lives and living in a garage and I remember actually laying there with my wife saying, what are we going to do now? And she said, uh, well, it's just as much of my dream as it is yours. So we got enough money to do it for half a year. And if you win some, you can keep on going. If not, we can start over. And you always can say that you tried. And uh, so we did, and the very next week I come down to Lake Okeechobee and won my first tour event here on a BB Cricket and won a hundred grand and started building the house, got out of that garage. So <laughs> that was actually like 10 years ago and it's been nearly a million dollars in winnings and it's uh, it must have just meant to be. So that's how I got started.